Bright Livelihood Summer School Curls 2016 was organized by Chulalongkorn University, Bangkok, Royal University of Bhutan, Bright Livelihood College, and Sathi Rakosa's Naga Pradipa Foundation, Thailand. Hello, my name is Pavel. I came from Poland. Hi, I'm Helena from Nepal. Hi, I'm Sam from Laos. Deepa from Sri Lanka. Fulangi from Madagascar. Hi, I'm Phun from Thailand. Anusha from Thailand. Big from San Francisco. Shadil from India. I'm Sailor from Myanmar. Sonboy from Thailand. My name is Cindy. My name is Sonam and I'm from Bhutan. I'm Phan Phan from Thailand. The Right Livelihood Summer School offers a unique opportunity for being in an Asian setting where participants benefit from interdisciplinary learning, action research and sharing cross-cultural experiences as well as local wisdom that will bring in new ideas and perspectives on their careers, new alliances and policy initiatives. Good morning. This is the kind of civil society and academy platform and it's a kind of attempt to bring both aspects of theory and practice together. The university is trying its best to basically be with the real world. What we now want to do is that to reduce the distance of the university and civil society. Once when you complete this summer school and you go back to your home country, to your home place, you also start to initiate. You also start to do something new. We had an understanding that we don't live on the earth, we are the earth. So the separation uh, sort of dissolves. So welcome to a platform where we are going to talk about this integration and discovering each other. And uh, we have some good time. My friend name is Sam. She likes to travel in eco tourism and local tourism. Uh, she likes to eat food and papaya salad. And is married to a Persian forestry engineer. No, he's not Persian. He's uh, Belgian. Oh, Belgian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now you understand that my ears are not the <laughs> I think you're supposed to show your face. <laughs> okay, this is Maud, and uh, I think I drew a pretty good picture out here. <laughs> this year, the summer school focused on rethinking and interconnecting the aspects of commons, compassion, and communities. <laughs> Do you throw at someone, or do you throw for someone, or do you throw with someone? The summer school was filled by the vibrant energies of nine nations from age group of 18 to 65. The present challenge is to recreate the commons and take trusteeship by being creative, selfless, responsible, and interdependent. I'm Charanya from South India and I'm a member of the Food Sovereignty Alliance. I'm here at the Chula Summer School because today in the whole capitalist economy, everything has been fragmented and individualized. And it's really important that we regain the sense of commons, collectivism and unity in a way towards creating a new order. And I'm here to explore it together. The wealth of the commons lies in people and communities who have inherited, who are inventing, who are protecting, who are developing new forms of governance. It's not the state or the market, it's the commons that will be the future. The flower. At first they just put circles here and you So yesterday was a wonderful day. We began our morning with a wonderful mind and body activity where we explored anger and we did wonderful exercises around it. You are coming from different backgrounds and the way that you dance together, you uh, deal with each other. That's the beauty of being here. It's not always receiving or giving, it's both. 
because we share. So just supporting. If I make something wrong, apologize. If he can't change me and I can't change him, but I can change the space. <laughs> so I can come <laughs> close or go far away. So we work with the space and uh, inside space and outside space. Participants went through several moments of compassion by living actively with existing communities of Thailand and observing their ways to coexist with tolerance. Welcome to Mapia. Right livelihood inspires us to take good care of the earth, grow our food with dignity and organize our consumption sustainably. They've actually formed one group, one community, and they are like surviving themselves. They are trying to make as best ways of the resources as possible. Om Buddham Charanam Gatsami Buddham Charanam Gatsami In the Buddhist concept, the first thing is called metta. You must learn first to love yourself. Most of us have been driven not even to love ourselves. We love fame, money more than ourselves. But more important is Karuna. You must learn to love those who have been oppressed. Karuna. And sometimes those who have been oppressed by our own lifestyle. You know, so you have to go out to see the suffering one and share their suffering. Karuna, not just to keep rice, to keep uh, medicine, but share their suffering. The goal of Curls is to inspire a pioneering group of new generation, socially engaged activists, co-create partnerships, and recognize the rights of commons by living lightly on the earth. Understanding the interconnectedness between the inner and outer realms of life and by promoting an economy of sharing mindful markets and care for Mother Earth. Good friend is your external voice of conscience tell you what you don't want to hear. You need good friend and then you learn to change internally to become a better human being with less arrogance and more humility. Okay? So I hope one of these days we all become good friends. Thank you. Again? Actually, I have the first time this experience in my life where organizers are putting three elements together. The first one is intellect, the second one is art, and the third one is spirituality. There's a lot of camera. I'm interested in the healthy food and also the organic food. And we're trying to choose uh, the best of the, the raw material, which is uh, organic or at least should not have any chemical. Yeah, so we choose the biodegradable uh, packaging. I start this one to connect the farmer to the consumer. 
The summer school culminated by creative presentations and exhibition of what the participants had learned and realized in the last two weeks. A select audience included close friends, participants of summer school Bhutan and members of Chula University, Bangkok. The gathering was addressed by Wright Livelihood Laureate Walden Bello and Kartini Semon. Certificates were presented to the participants by Wright Livelihood Laureate Ajahn Sulaksivraksa to encourage their forward journeys. The drama depicted images of social, cultural and environmental degradation and left a message of hope and peace. It's a wonderful performance, very well rehearsed, good collaborations, and uh, uh, most enjoyable. Now why should people do art and theatre? Otherwise, you know, people only do their head. You have to do their, your heart. And art, theatre is a wonderful expression. Emotional, intellectual, spiritual. approach to learning, this is the right direction. I can observe it through the reaction of all participants. Participants of the summer school have become a part of Right Livelihood movement as they will share their knowledge and vision within the group and for the future action. Girls is looking forward for a richer participation next year. To join the future summer school, email us on wellbeingsummer at gmail.com.